So I've taken a photo of my hand in a couple of different poses uh, for this animation. Um, I'm using a format and remove background tool. Um, the whole image goes pink, that's the area that's going to be deleted. And you just draw around the areas that you want to keep. Uh, it takes a little while, but the program's pretty good at uh, guessing which bits you want to use. Go over it a few times until you're happy with the result. So I want to add a shadow effect to my hand. So I've duplicated the hand by pressing Ctrl D and then using a color formatter, I've made the hand completely black and then pushed it to the back using center back. I'm just playing around with the angle and the size of the hand to offset the shadow. And then I want to use uh, the 3D format tool. Uh, it's got a tool where you can change the material and uh, there's one that you can allow it to be semi-transparent or translucent so now the shadow will be semi-transparent group the two images together by pressing ctrl g and there you go So now you want the center of the image to be where the pen nib is. And this is important for when you're animating it. So uh, duplicate the image, spin it around, connect them at the nibs, and then group them together by pressing Control G. And now you want to make the other hand invisible, obviously, otherwise it will look weird. So on uh, the selection pane, uh, you just want to click on the little eye that corresponds with that image. So uh, you want to do that for the image and for its shadow and it highlights, click on the eye, it disappears. Now you want to animate the text, uh, use the wipe animation, uh, very basic one, uh, specify you want it to animate from the left, uh, bring up the animation pane and that green bar you can see there represents the animation over time. Uh, click start with previous so that it starts as soon as the animation starts. Uh, increase the duration of the animation. the hand and synchronize it with the animation of the text. So go on to uh, custom path, draw a line from off the page and then over the handwriting. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, just roughly. And this will be the animation of the hand. And then draw the, uh, the cursor to go off the page. A blue bar will appear in the animation pane that represents the hand animation. You want to start with previous so that they start together and then reduce the duration of the blue animation so that it's the same time as the text animation. Get rid of any uh, slow fade-ins and fade-outs so that it, set, it keeps a constant speed. And then you want to bring the hand to front. So on format, bring to front so that it's, it animates on top of the text. There we go. And then make any minor adjustments you want to make it look a bit more smooth. So 
here's another example of something that you can do with the whiteboard concept. Be as creative as you can with the ideas and try and make it more interesting, more engaging. I hope this video has been useful to you. Please comment below with any ideas that you've come up with. And if this has been useful to you at all, then please give it a like. And I'll see you in the next video.